Junkies, welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ES Trading Mentor's free trading video for Tuesday, June 7th, 2011. Today we had a total of 7 executable trade signals for a max potential of 35 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning right around uh, 1291.50 and we immediately went into a signal short that did produce targets 1 and targets 2 to the downside for 9 ticks. And then we uh, at, immediately crossed right back up through our moving average, had a signal to get long. Unfortunately for us, this was a full stop out. The market uh, traded right down to the daily pivot. Went a little bit of sideways there, gave us an opportunity for a signal short that went on down near the half gap, which produced targets one and targets two for nine ticks before bouncing off that half gap level. You can see the bounce off the half gap was quite strong, created a fast up move where we start looking for an extension and we actually had one, which led us into a fast moving trade right after um, 10 o'clock and that did produce targets one and targets two to the upside for six ticks. Went up near the Globex high, found a little bit of resistance there, uh, kind of pulled back towards the open, the moving average there, kicked up uh, one last time before uh, heading in towards the lunchtime dead zone. And right before the dead zone, you can see as we came back down through our moving average, we had a nice signal to get short, produced targets one and targets two to the downside for seven ticks as we went into lunchtime. Now the red area you see on the chart here, that's what we call the lunchtime dead zone. That's the area between 11.30 and 1.15. During lunch, you sometimes get excess volatility, lighter volume, so it's a little harder to trade. We wait until after 1.15 before we start looking for trades again. And uh, in this instance, we popped up to that Globex high for another uh, test, pulled back to the moving average, gave us a signal long entry. That signal long did produce targets one and targets two as we pushed higher. Uh, up until about the 2.30 reversal time frame and if you've watched any of my free videos on uh, key time frames you'll know at 2.30 the market tends to reverse and you can see it did came down through the moving average gave us a signal short and ultimately hit targets one and targets two to the downside for seven ticks as it traded back to the open and then sold off hard late in the day so all in all not a bad day Seven trades, 35 ES ticks. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.